dealing with the different footings around the countryside, trying to be able to shoe them consistently um, and, and still be able to work on the different footings around the. A lot of the, my jumpers travel a lot, so they, uh, they're always on different footing. And so we have, always have different concerns as to where they're going. You know, I have to shoot them differently when they're in Indio, California, than if I do if they're Spruce Meadows. And uh, consistency is always a big issue with the horses when they're jumping at the high levels. Everything needs to be the same. I am familiar with it. Um, a lot of it stays the same, just more out of safety is what I'm doing. You, you know, we leave extra foot on them. It makes it easier for them to cope with the different footings. And then I'll modify the shoes when it comes to different tractions for the footing. Um, you know, it's, it, again, in, in California, they don't put any, any corks in at all. And when they go to Spruce Meadows, they put four in. Um, I guess a lot of the time I leave that up to my, the trainers that I shoe for. I provide the shoes um, with the ability for them to be add in what traction they need for what footing. Um, other than that, the line is it's pretty broad for me. I, yeah, I, I, I put the holes in for the studs and I let them put what size studs they want in. The front feet are generally just the two studs, one in each heel. Um, on the hind feet, I, I usually add a third stud. Uh, they don't often use it. It's up at the uh, lateral toe. Um, they don't often use it, but it's there for them if they want. And then as I say, for places like Spruce Meadows, uh, we add a fourth one on the hind feet and the medial toe as well, um, just because the trainers want that option. If, if the footing gets quite deep, um, they want to be able to put those extra studs in.